Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do y'all summons for May the Frith. Happy Mother's Day to the real women if y'all celebrate it, okay? So let's begin. We'll be reading 2 Peter chapter 3 in the New Testament. As y'all know, 2 Peter stands for reminder. So we need to be reminded, okay, of something. Also, I'm not selling my mistake, but I got it from listening to it. It's a P Boy Stone, out of the South mistake. I mean, this song actually picked these pick these verses okay pick these art of scriptures okay so let's begin this is now beloved the second letter that i have written to you and in both of them i stir up your sincere mind by reminding you that you should remember the words you were spoken before by the holy prophets and the commandments of us the emissaries of the lord and savior Knowing this first, that in the last days, mockers will come, who, walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where the promise of his coming? Question mark. For from the day that the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willfully forget that there were heavens from of old and of earth formed out of water, and aimed water by the word of God. By which means the world that that then was, being overflowed with water, perished. See, but the heavens that now exist in the earth by the same world have been stored up for fire, being reserved against the day of judgment and destruction of ungodly men. But don't forget this one thing, beloved, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years at one day. The Lord is not slow concerning his promise, as some count slowness, but is patient with us, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens will pass away with a great noise, and the elements will be dissolved with fervent heat, and the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. Yes. Heaven, we own heaven right now. Okay? Therefore, since all these things will be destroyed like this, what kind of people are you to be in holy living and godliness? Looking for and earnestly desiring the coming of the day of God, which will cause the burning heavens to be dissolved and the elements will melt with fervent heat? Question mark. But according to his promise, we look for new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness derails. Therefore, beloved, seeing that you look for these things, be diligent to be found in peace without defect and blameless in his sight. We guard the patience of our Lord as salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul also, according to the wisdom given to him, wrote to you. And also in all of his letters, speaking in them of these things. In those, there are some things that are hard to understand, which the ignorant and unsubtle priests, as they also do to the other scriptures, to their own destruction. See, you therefore, beloved, knowing these things beforehand, be well, beware, lest be carried away with the error of the wicked. You fall from your own steadfastness, steadfastness. But grow in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua the Messiah. To him be the glory both now and forever. Amen. That's 2 Peter chapter 3 in the New Testament. Enjoy.